It's time for the Illini update. The football team fell to Penn State at home on Saturday with a 35-7 loss. Junior quarterback Nathan Schilhouse finished with 270 passing yards, while junior wide receiver Ryan Langford had seven catches for a game high of 104 yards. Coming up, the Orange and Blue will travel to Madison, Wisconsin to take on the Badgers on Saturday, October 6th. The volleyball team defeated Indiana 3-1 in the Illini's first conference road match of the season on Friday. Junior Jennifer Beltran moved into third all-time at Illinois in career digs. On Saturday, the team fell in a hard-fought battle against Purdue in five sets. Coming up, the team will return home to Huff Hall to take on Ohio State on Friday, October 5th, and Penn State on Saturday, October 6th. The women's soccer team triumphed over Indiana on Friday in a 2-1 win. The Illini scored both goals in the final 11 minutes of the match. On Sunday, the team came from behind and earned themselves a 1-1 tie against Purdue after two 10-minute overtime periods. Coming up, the team will return home to face Michigan State on Thursday, October 8th. The men's cross-country team placed 14th at the Notre Dame Invitational on Friday. The team was led by senior Hunter McCow in his season opener. McCow placed 24th overall with a five-mile time of 24 minutes and 13 seconds. Coming up, the Orange and Blue will compete in both the Wisconsin Adidas Invitational in Madison, Wisconsin, and the Bradley Classic in Peoria on Friday, October 12th. The women's cross-country team finished in fifth place at the Notre Dame Invitational on Friday. Senior Courtney Yeager finished sixth overall and ran a new personal best 5K time of 16 minutes and 48 seconds, beating her old record set last week. The Illini will have a week off before they compete in both the Bradley Classic in Peoria on Friday, October 12th, and the pre-nationals meet on Saturday, October 13th in Louisville, Kentucky. For more information on Illini athletics, check out FightingIllini.com.